Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with peak files in Reaper, or at least storing them in a more hidden place. Let me give you an example. Let's say we have a bunch of samples. Stored in our directory, I have a bunch of 909 drum samples right here. Now, if I drag these in to Reaper by default, put them on a single track, if I go back to my directory, it looks like this, with all the main files and the peak files mixed in together. So it gets a bit cluttered. As you're trying to find samples, these are in the way, your peak files. The peak files lets us see the waveforms in Reaper, like this. But it does make the directory quite messy. So I'm going to show you how to clean that up so they're out of the way. Let's start off by deleting these, going back to our directory, List it by kind and delete all the peak files. And now let's go back to Reaper and go to our preferences. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. The first way is creating a folder in each one of our directories. Let's go down here to media and right over here we could choose this option. Put new peak files in peak subfolder relative to media. So if we choose this, Hit OK. Now if we bring those files in, select them all, drag them in to a single track. If we go back to our directory, they're no longer up here in the middle of our files. They're down here in a folder called Peaks. So they're a bit more out of the way. But if you don't want a different folder in each one of your directories, let me show you another way. Let's delete these again. Delete the folder. Let's go back to our preferences. Let's turn this one off and instead go up to the preferences on the general called paths. Over here, we could choose where the peak files are being stored. We could type in a path or we could simply browse one. I'll choose browse and I'll create a folder on my desktop, although you could put it wherever you want. Make a new folder, we'll name it Reaper Peak Files, create it, and now in this folder, all the peak files from Reaper are going to be stored for any song or project that you're working on. So it will get pretty big, but at the very least, they're out of our way. So it shows up right here, here's the path where the peak files are going to be stored. Hit OK. And now if we bring in those samples, select them all, drag them in to a single track, go back to our directory, it's nice and clean. Just our audio files show up, or our samples, because the peak files are stored in a different directory. So if I go to my desktop, here's the folder, and here are the files. Now they're put in different folders. The reason for this is that if you have too many files in one directory, it's going to slow the system down. So Reaper creates these folders to separate them. But either way, now they're in a different place. So it's easier to go through our folders or our audio files for our projects without seeing those peak files. So to me, this makes our directories a lot cleaner. So I typically choose this right here, where we could store our peak files in a separate path. So anyway, that's storing our peak files in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.